Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, I love talking about engineering and technical things. And one of the videos I created before has gotten a lot of comments and also created some controversy. And that has to do with how often to change the engine oil and the oil filter. Now I've made a couple of videos already on it, but people keep asking me the same questions over and over again in terms of how I came to that decision and exactly what kind of uh, engine oil frequency you should follow based on the type of driving you might do. So I'm going to do another video right here to try to clarify my suggestions for when to change the oil or how often to change the oil and how to determine that using a very simple criteria to help you figure out what's the right situation for you. So I'm going to basically rank your situation or your car situation into three categories, rank A, rank B, and rank C with corresponding different requirements. And then you can then figure out what is the right kind of oil change interval might be. So let's get right into it. So why even talk about oil change? Well, that's because oil change and then the corresponding filter change are the two most important things you can do to prolong the life of a car for internal combustion engine or ICE. And as you guys know, many of us want to hang on to our ICE or gasoline engine cars for a long time because they might go away in a few or several years replaced by electric cars. And so there's even more reasons these days to keep these vehicles running in a tip-top shape. At the same time, depending on how long you plan to keep the car, the condition will change. So for example, if you want to keep the car forever, 20, 25, 30 years, then the requirements or recommendation for oil change will be different than if you're just leasing it or financing it for three or four years and you plan to exchange the car every few years. Because in that case, you don't really need to follow a very stringent oil change recommendation. So let me give you three scenarios, very simple three scenarios to help you decide what to do with your particular situation. So I'm gonna break it into A, B, or C ranking. A applies to those people who wants to keep the car for 10 or even 20 years or longer. And for those of you who plan to drive the car for a very long time, up to maybe even 250,000 miles or half a million miles, or maybe who knows, maybe even somehow reach 1 million miles. For those of you who want to keep the car for that length of time, which is essentially forever, then use my recommendation for criteria A. What about for those people who are not as picky, so you're not gonna keep it for 10, 20, 30 years, but you still want to keep the car in a good condition? Well, that's what I call criteria B. And how I define criteria B are those people who wants to keep the car for, let's say, four to 10 years, and then maybe up to 250,000 miles, maybe 100 to 250,000 miles, so very lengthy time but not as long as a criteria A. And perhaps the B is the one that applies to most of you because many of us do end up keeping the car for about that length of time, sort of four to 10 years, and then maybe 100,000K to 250K. That's criteria B. And then finally, there's a ranking or criteria C, which is what I call the minimalist version. That's the one that requires the least amount of maintenance. And how do I define C? C is for those people who wants to just keep the car for kind of one to four years, 25,000 to 100,000 miles, or maybe even less, which actually really means that you're keeping the car for maybe just a duration of the lease or financing, which is often one to four years long. And therefore you're not too worried about the durability or long-term effect of the vehicle because you're going to be changing in a few years anyway. So that's the criteria C or ranking C. So now let me explain to you what to do depending on which of those you fit in, A, B, or C. Now, before I go too far, keep in mind that a lot of people think oil change is because the oil itself has degraded and no longer acting as a lubricant, and therefore we have to change. Well, actually that is not quite true because oil is capable of keeping its lubricant capability or property for a very long time. But the problem is that the oil gets dirty, partly because the engine does mix a little bit of gas and air into the oil mixture. Uh, but also because it does remove some contaminants within the engine. So the engine oil itself, even though it's still functioning as a proper oil, actually gets kind of dirty because it's carrying contaminants. And that's why we have to change oil. It's not because it lost its property. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, some of you guys said, hey, if you use synthetic oil, then it will last even longer, right? Well, it does because the property of a lubricant lasts longer. 
but it still removes contaminant, it is still getting dirty, and there's still a mixture of gasoline and other things gets into the oil. So it doesn't matter how good the oil itself is, even if it's synthetic, you still have to replace them. Having said that, I will say if you're using synthetic versus a cheaper oil, you can probably add about 1,000 miles to the recommendation numbers I'm going to give you right now, but not much more than that. So let me get through this A, B, and C stuff right now. Again, just to remind you, criteria A is for those people who want to keep the car for 10, 20 years, even more than that perhaps, 250,000 miles or longer, and essentially they want to keep the car forever, as long as it's possible. For those of you who want to keep it in that tip-top A condition, well, you've got to change the oil every 3,000 miles, even more often if you really can afford it or you don't mind doing it, but at least as a minimum, every 3,000 miles or approximately 5,000 kilometers. And also don't forget to change the oil filter at the same time. That pretty well applies to everything. I think every time you change the oil, you should just change the oil filter as well. Even though you could, theoretically speaking, keep the uh, oil filter sometime for every two oil change. But I think right now I'm gonna just say, for all situations, just change the oil filter at the same time as uh, engine oil. Uh, once again, if you use uh, synthetic oil, then you can add 1,000 miles to the interval I just mentioned to you. But regardless of the mileage, I would also change every six months because of the fact that some of the properties of the oil will begin to change over time. So again, if you want to keep the car for a very long time or literally forever, change every 3,000 miles or approximately 5,000 kilometers and or every six months. What about for those people who are in the B criteria, which is a little bit less stringent, and it's the one that applies to many of us. Again, a reminder that criteria B applies to those of you who wants to keep the car for, let's say four to 10 years, 100,000 to 250,000 miles, approximately speaking. So this one applies to many of you guys, or most of you guys, including perhaps myself, because usually I change my car every four to five years or even more frequent than that. And in that case, you've got to change the oil and the oil filter every 5,000 miles or approximately every 8,000 kilometers. And once again, add 1,000 miles if you're using synthetic, but change the oil filter at the same time as the oil. And so that way you are still changing the oil pretty often. 5,000 miles is still quite uh, frequent, but you're not wasting too much money changing it too often. And I think this one applies to most of you guys. And this recommendation is very much in alignment with what uh, AMD or Ahmed said in his Car Care Nut channel. Uh, he also said about 5,000 miles for most of you guys. And he and I'm good friends. We stay in touch and so forth. And we're both completely aligned in terms of some of these recommendations. So that's for criteria B. What about those of you who fits into criteria C, which is the least stringent criteria? So that criteria applies to those people who want to keep the car for just one to four years, up to 100,000 miles at the most, but most likely maybe even 50,000 miles or so. These are kind of short-term owners or people who are leasing or financing for a short time, and they know for a fact every few years they're going to change the car and they don't plan to keep the car longer, they don't plan to buy it out after a lease and give it to their friends or family, and therefore they don't really want to spend the money. They just want to spend the minimum amount of time and money on it, once again, because they don't plan to be a long-term owner. In that case, what I'm going to tell you is to simply follow the manufacturer's recommendation that's in your owner's manual. And that changes from car to car, from brands to brands, so you have to look up under your own owner's manual. But in most cases, that's around 10 to 12,000 miles, or once a year is usually what they recommend. So that's pretty well what I can expect for most brands and most cars. And that's totally fine. You're not doing anything wrong. You're still following exactly what the manufacturers are telling you to do. So therefore, you don't void the warranty. The engine will still be in good shape, but it might not last you know, 20, 30 years if you only follow the manufacturer's recommendation. Uh, you will still have to change both the oil and oil filter. And once again, if you're using synthetic, you might want to add 1,000 miles to that uh, range. Although, because it's so long already, I would be hesitant to recommend you add any more mileage to the interval mileage because now it's getting really long. So that would be my recommendation for those people who follow under the criteria C, who wants to minimize the cost, who really don't plan to keep the car, and they just want to return the car to the dealership when the lease ends, or they just want to trade it in every few years. Yes, then in that case, don't waste your money. Just follow the manufacturer's recommendation. So those are the three criteria I want to talk about which will simplify your decision-making process. And hopefully this makes more sense for you because each situation is a little bit different. 
So I suspect that most of us will fall under the category B and therefore you will follow my recommendation in B which is to simply change the oil and oil filter every 5,000 miles or 8,000 kilometers or at least once a year. That's the most important thing to keep in mind. So I really hope this video clarified all the things I talked about before which might have added some confusion by breaking into categories of A, B and C and by following that I think you'll be able to keep your car in great condition without overly spending too much money on your car. Let me know if you have more questions about this. I would love to talk more about oil change and also maintaining things in the future but these are a really interesting topic for me and hopefully for you as well. If you like my video please give me a thumbs up, make some comments, ask me some questions and if you haven't done so yet would you kindly subscribe as well. Until next video I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.